uh, you'll be admitted on the day of the procedure and after which uh, you'll be sent to a suite where we put or implant this pa pacemaker under x-ray guidance. We make an incision just about one to one and a half inch long, usually on the left chest wall and we make a pocket just uh, below the skin, big enough for this pacemaker. From this incision, we puncture one of the big veins and put in wires or leads into the cardiac chamber, usually uh, the right upper chamber or right lower chamber if it's a dual chamber pacemaker. And after this are uh, secured in the chambers, we connect the leads to this pacemaker and the whole thing is buried under the skin uh, and a plaster will be placed over the wound. The procedure usually lasts an average of 45 minutes to 60 minutes for an implantation of a pacemaker. And after that, you'll be brought back to the ward and you'll be monitored overnight. A chest x-ray will be done to ensure that the pacemaker stays in place and there are no other complications. The pacemaker will be checked the following morning. If uh, these are okay, the patient normally leaves uh, within 24 hours of admission. And the patient normally goes home the following day uh, if it's an uncomplicated pacemaker implantation. After a pacemaker is implanted, we normally advise patients not to move their arm, the affected arm, excessively for two weeks. We do not advise them to raise their arm above the shoulders just for two weeks to allow the area to heal completely. Um, we do not recommend the patients to undergo MRI and that may affect the function of the pacemaker during the MRI scan. Uh, patients have asked if they are allowed to use a handphone and such. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say that handphones, uh, MP3 players, microwave ovens do not affect the function of the pacemaker. On a cautionary note, we advise that they use a handphone on the opposite arm and they put MP3 devices six inches away from the pacemaker. Um, they are also reminded not to walk under the, uh, the, the gantries at the airport or in airport security. Uh, if they need to travel, they will be given a card and this card can be shown to airport security crew where they will do a handheld search with a handheld wand, for example. Um, should you forget and walk through one of those metal detectors gantries, as long as you do not stand under the gantry, it will not adversely affect the function of your pacemaker. If you just walk through it quickly, uh, apart from an alarm uh, due to the uh, sound, sound by the metal detector, it should not affect your pacemaker. Pacemaker implantation is a relatively safe procedure. There is less than 1% risk of complication. The main complications are excessive bleeding, injuring the lung, causing an air leak. If the air leak is severe, we need to put in a chest tube to drain the air. In rare cases, the leads may puncture or perforate the heart. By doing so, blood may accumulate in the sac of the heart and we may need to drain blood from the sac of the heart. All in all, it's about 1% risk. Uh, most patients undergo a pacemaker implantation without any of these complications. In the long term, the lead may move in a very micro uh, manner, what we call micro dislodgement. But it moves just enough to cause poor functioning of the device. And when that happens, we may have to re-operate. In some patients with diabetes, for example, 
they may develop infection of the pacemaker lead or the pacemaker itself. When that happened, we have to extract the whole system before putting a new one, usually on the opposite side. Go to your doctor early after a pacemaker implantation if you develop recurrent giddiness, fainting spells or unexplained quickening of the heart rate palpitations. <music>